Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. Today, we're going to be discussing the reveals that Hasbro put out on their live stream today. Um, we've got some opinions there, and it wasn't, wasn't a ton of figures to really cover, so this might be a shorter episode. Uh, but before we get into that, Jordan, I wanted to do a quick segment, our What You Got, because after seeing you this past weekend, I was gifted an early birthday present. Ladies and gentlemen, my birthday That's is right. September 14th. If you wanted to send in your birthday present, send me a message. I'll give you my address. I got, maybe I'll give you my P.O. box. That'll probably be a little safer. I don't want you creeps showing up at my house. But um, <laughs> <laughs> We have a huge stalker following, I've heard, on Reddit. But anyway, so my what you got today is my number one most sought after grail that Jordan was able to track down. That is the Toy Biz Giant Man. So this guy, I've never actually seen this figure in person. I don't know if you've seen him before, Jordan. But not in person, no. This he's much taller than I was expecting. Um, and you found one that's got good joints. He stands super easy. No, I mean that's pretty good for a toy biz i mean he's what almost 20 20 years old getting I mean, getting close yeah i mean i think he came out in 2006 maybe so, so just getting up there so big shout out to jordan best birth birthday <laughs> gift giver there is and well it's it's just cool because i i mean you had galactus and apocalypse growing up mm -hmm. but we never really got our hands on um giant man yeah so it was kind of cool to like even for me before i gave it to you to you know just kind of check it out a little bit and um he's got those articulated fingers <laughs> yep. which are the uh the toy biz hallmark so to speak but um yeah, I'm glad you like him, man. Yeah. He's pretty cool. So, so I'm, I'm excited to get well, my uh, Avengers display. I've kind of got it started down below me here, but next episode you'll probably see the Mythic Legions moved down, and then you'll have a really good Avengers display in the background I'll show off. Yes. And speaking of figures we were gifting, well, not gifting, but you ordered for me the Martian Manhunter yes. Target Gold Label. So this is the classic Martian Manhunter suit. Got his, like, X suspenders. <laughs> I guess he's a shapeshifter, but he chooses to wear underwear <laughs> connected by suspenders to a cape. Um, I think I remember when this came out, we were pretty impressed at the notion of this being a gold label. Mm -hmm. Just because it is totally different as far as, like, sculpting goes and... It's cool to see him in classic form. I always liked him on the, uh, I know we were, we were both fans of the Justice League TV show. Yep. But I thought he was always a cool character. Um, I don't know. He's got one open hand, or like gripping hand, one fist hand. Would have been nice to have two fists so I could give him like that classic hero, you know, uh, fists on the the hips pose right. but i don't know um i do think it's cool to give you those classic designs because it doesn't seem like mcfarland does that a ton mm -hmm. um i know people are still like we need a classic uh world's finest or a classic trinity or mm -hmm. whatever so i don't know i think it was it was a nice nod to the classic era so to speak yeah um but i'm excited just to see kind of what he does going forward with i mean we can get into that there was a little mcfarlane reveal today true yeah, um, we can go ahead and get that one done first yeah. since we're on mcfarlane Keep yeah the ball rolling go ahead so it, it sounded like well he posted a photo of it looked like an arkham asylum or arkham city batman figure and then he had the caption saying something, something right to the effect of our, our Arkham build a wave is coming. Yep. So, do you think that means the whole wave's going to be Arkham themed, or it's just going to be an Arkham build a figure? I would think it'd be. Both? I would think the theme for the wave would be Arkham, um, because I know looking at some of the leaks, I know there was at least a penguin from the game 
leaked, and I want to say a Ra's al Ghul, possibly from the game. I've never, I mean, I've played part of the game. I've never finished it, so I'm not sure what all the characters are in there. Um, I'm kind of surprised because he just put out that Scarecrow not too long ago. Surprised he wouldn't right. have used that in that wave. Um, but maybe he he's looked, got more yeah. figures up his sleeve, I guess. Yeah, I mean, they introduce almost his whole rogues gallery mm. in those games. So, I mean, there's a lot of directions they could go. But he's done some of those figures. Like, we got the... Killer Croc we have. Killer Croc. We got Joker. Yep. Um, and then just Scarecrow. Is I that the know. only other one? Scarecrow. I'm pretty sure he did a... Uh, was it the um the arkham knight didn't he make an arkham knight figure I believe so yeah so, yeah he did but i don't know like there's every iterate you could do a mr freeze everyone's been, yep. but everyone's gonna be mad because it's not gonna be a, it's classic, not a classic mr freeze yep. it's an arkham mr so everyone's gonna be like oh man but yeah i mean i he could I easily know. do a harley quinn right like she's yeah. pretty big in the game and people are always asking yeah. him for more female characters so maybe we get a gamer verse harley quinn yeah um, i don't know i thought i'd saw that there was a poison ivy leak but maybe that was just somebody that continuously asks for poison ivy but um yeah so you got batman to look forward to on the horizon that's going to be probably our most exciting reveal so far because now <laughs> we're getting into the hasbro stuff um I guess just a so caveat. Hasbro had a live stream today mm -hmm. on Hasbro Pulse that was, what, what did they call it? Didn't they switch the name on it? It was like a... I don't even know. They, they, okay. They called it something different than usual, but... Not a fan I first. I mean, it was, it was different, different than usual in that I was not too excited for almost any of them. Right. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I was gonna say caveat. Jordan and I both are pretty disappointed in the live stream today. Like I say, though, it's not really the end of the world because, like you heard from our pre-order episode, Jordan and I have quite a few on pre-order, so it's okay if we take a sit out a wave here or a wave there, give our wallets a rest, give let them cool off just a bit. Um, but yeah, I. I've got them kind of listed out here. Maybe we go through like a little recap because mm -hmm. yeah. they brought in figures that they released at San Diego Comic-Con. And then we found out like where those fit in. So starting out, they reminded us of Razorback and the Human Fly. Two figures that we've never seen before. Kind of those like out there, not popular at all villains. We thought, well, I at least thought that this was going to be part of like a Spider-Man wave or a Spider-Man villains wave, something like that, where we'd get a Build-A-Figure with it. We find out some more of the figures that come along with these guys. They started out with a Molten Man. Now, I know a lot of people had disliked the Molten Man Build-A-Figure, probably one of the cheaper ones that you can find on the aftermarket right now. But it's in that like MCU version Molten Man where he wasn't even like a real villain. It was like more of just a hologram or something Mysterio created. Spoiler alert, but you know, if you haven't watched that movie yet, that's on you. Um, <laughs> so people wanted like a classic Molten Man. I would have thought like this classic Molten Man would have been like shinier, kind of some fire effects, something like that. But the Molten Man that they revealed was kind of like barely shiny, looked almost more like translucent matte yellowish and then his head was it, it didn't it doesn't even look like it's the same color it's like a brighter yellow like i'm looking at the figure now and maybe this is just a prototype so maybe i shouldn't be too critical but it seems like the arms are like that like translucent deep matte color and then the torso is shiny so i don't know what's up with that what are your thoughts there jordan yeah, I mean, it It looks like that Iceman Human Torch body, and they just yeah. slapped a head on it and painted it gold. I mean, it's like, I don't know. That Yeah, that one felt kind of lazy to me, mm -hmm. to be honest. Um, I'm not even clamoring for a Molten Man, but if I was, I'd probably be like, eh. Right. So, 
who else do we have? We had next up was the yeah. Silvermane. So we had gotten a Silvermane head on an RC car body with a uh, Speed Demon, and I think people ended up liking that like Silvermane head more than they enjoyed the Speed Demon. But um, I had seen some people had made some custom Silvermanes. I know Clay has made a Silvermane, um, and people have been asking for it still. Now Hasbro has given it to us, and they've given it to us, to us on like a super old Ultron body, like not even like. That's the, what it looks like. It looks I, like. I had thought that people that early were Hasbro? saying that. Yeah, like. Very I, early. I don't even remember when. Like, yeah, early. So it's like it, it has that like ball joint looking shoulders. It doesn't have the ball joint hips, so maybe they like retooled that at least. But yeah, I mean, I think that the torso and most of the legs at least look like that Ultron, but he's got like two toes and I don't know. He he does look like he comes with cool accessories. Like he's got cool looking weapons at least, but yeah, that body just, it just looks like old Hasbro. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they're trying to make him look like a robot. I don't actually know the character of Silvermane very well. So maybe this is accurate, but if it is, it's not a great looking character. (laughs) So, at least give him a sword for a hand or something. If they'd put a gun on his hand, <laughs> I might be saying a different cool. tune. Yeah. Is that it? Is that the whole? Well, then well, we've no, got no, the no, fifth figure. Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. So as Jordan and I, we were texting beforehand, taking our bets on what was going to be released. We both put all of our money on that we would get some sort of Spider-Man figure released. And we, in fact, got the new... Ultimate Spider-Man symbiote. New, yeah, unquote. true. I I don't know if there's really any new parts to this one. It looks like it's just a repaint of the old, like that kid Ultimate Spider-Man. So I don't know. It's like it, the eyes are big. I think that the eyes look cool. I like that it's a little bit more purplish, kind of shinier. I have the retro symbiote Spider-Man, and I don't really need a smaller version of that. So to me, it's, well, what's not necessary yeah. but then we get into the biggest kicker of the whole thing i was like all right cool we've got these figures i can't wait to see what this build a figure is going to be I, I want a big spider-man villain five pack amazon exclusive five pack yeah which to me right off the bat my first thought is like those are like regular universe bad guys and then you have an ultimate universe spider you know it's like mm-hmm. it doesn't even make sense because you if they were all like ultimate versions of the spider-man bad guys like an ultimate venom yeah you know ultimate goblin or i guess they've done goblin but you know what i mean or something yeah right it would have been like oh okay but it's like it literally feels like you were just trying to round out your five pack and you were Mm -hmm. like oh we've never made an ultimate symbiote spider-man right let's put him in there and we've announced a (laughs) spider-man on every other announcement so how can we announce them again my first hope was that they were going to do a superior spider-man which if they'd done that i would have been like "Ooh, this yeah. is tough because i do want him yeah but uh yeah that kind of solidified for me the easy pass on the amazon five pack yeah i mean i originally i was like all right cool if this is all like a part of a wave i don't expect some of these figures like razorback probably not going to sell out human fly not going to sell out i'll just wait until these go on clearance because like i like having my goofy villains that like are kind of those c and d list villains five pack though even i mean i would assume there's no way these are going to be less than 25 dollars per figure i would assume they're going to be a little bit more since it's a bigger five pack so I'm guessing it's going to be like around 150, maybe a little bit less, but still like even at the cheapest, it, there's no way it's less than 125 and there's no yeah. way I'm going to spend 125 on this. Even if it goes 50% off, eh, I don't think so. Which probably won't happen. No. I mean, and that's, if anybody does get these, I don't. I don't know why you would really sell them for super cheap either because you spent so much on them and they're going to be I don't know, maybe that's the thing is you're going to get it because these are going to be rare because people don't want them. But I don't know, maybe that's just us and we don't appreciate these 
crazy villains, but I know a lot of people were upset with the reuses here. Because, like, I mean, we've, we've said before, we don't mind reuses if it's for a good reason. Like, Spider-Man, obviously, he comes in different costumes. Like, you can make it just a different color. Like, Black Spider-Man can be on the red and blue Spider-Man, same buck, everything. It's just a different costume. Like, same person put on a different costume. But, like, that Multiman that just seems lazy doesn't seem like it works like maybe it needs something more on it like i always imagine like molten man with more like fiery lava effects and this one just looks like an oscar um <laughs> silver main like we said just looks like an old action Dated. figure i guess they m- must have just re- or just used up all their extra tooling on that razorback head and the human fly wings or something because something i don't know yeah but i mean the packaging it does look pretty cool the box that it comes in i like that at least but you know not necessarily enough that i'm gonna be rushing out to uh pre-order this but i'll i got the picture here of what everybody comes with so razorback comes as is he only comes with two fisted hands no alternates there um i guess molten man does come with like fire effect hands just like human torch did where he's got kind of like the fire coming off of the back of his wrists he's got like a fire back piece that i think that human torch the retro human torch also came with Mm -hmm. and he's got the like fire effects that human torch also came with spider-man's got fisted hands thwipping hands and wall crawling hands and then silver mane has fisted hands and then trigger finger hands with like a longer revolver type thing and then like a bigger like revolver hand cannon looking weapon so like his weapons look cool and i don't recognize those from other things so maybe we'll see those reused in like a punisher figure or something like that but yeah that's all the accessories that they come with and that is going to be up for pre-order tomorrow so this is probably going to release tomorrow at like 7 a.m so at on 8 16 this comes out at 1 p.m eastern time so if it's before that set your alarm and if it's you know wednesday it's probably still available so don't worry (laughs) and even if it's three weeks from now a couple months from now (laughs) probably still available yeah i mean don't come after us if you really wanted it and you waited and it's sold out but not one that i'm gonna put at the the hot sale but anyway moving on from that spider-man five pack let's get into the disney plus reveals so from san diego comic-con we saw the richard grant kind of that classic loki i think a lot of people were excited about that especially when the show came out people were all clamoring for that action figure so i people are excited about that one i think he's got some like where his legs meet his it looks really weird it looks weird i don't know if that's just again maybe it's a prototype but it seems odd um when does that come out yeah these come out thursday so i doubt it's a prototype that's probably just the figure um so i don't know what that was about but you get your richard grant loki they also announced the he who remains so that kang figure um and they were kind of showing how that rounds out your uh loki shelf so you've got your regular loki you got the new loki without the jacket mobius sylvie (laughs) and then these new figures so not really much else people want the alligator Uh, you might just have to go find an alligator at walmart and put a loki crown on it but um then they also announced from the what if series you've got howard the duck and ant-man coming which this is another one that people were the severed ant-man head right jar Yes, so this yeah. is another one that I saw a lot of people unhappy about because, for one, Howard the Duck is... People were wanting, like, a comic Howard the Duck and not the animated what-if version. Okay, but if you can get past that, okay, now he only comes with, like, seven, maybe eight points of articulation. So his arms move, his head probably moves. Maybe he's going to have a waist cut, but his legs are stationary, so he's kind of like a glorified statue. A little bit better than, like that wolverine that's coming in the mojo um world tour pack but only by a little bit um and then the ant-man is uh, it's not articulated because it's just a head but 
I don't know. Did you see that head, Jordan? I thought that head does not look anything like Ant-Man and just looks weird. Yeah, it, it it's a little like really that's its own figure or its okay. own boxes. Howard the you know like mm-hmm. maybe do what Toy Biz did and Howard the Ducks like a sidekick exactly. to your other figure. But it yeah, that or, that felt like even like with the Mojo World Tour, like if you're going to give us like a, a figure like make the Mojo World Tour a four pack, which I think is just a joke make it a four pack with howard the duck and then i'm like all right well at least he moves mostly instead of just having the single point articulation like add him in with something like that so then if you call it a four pack it at least makes some sense um i agree so i don't know that that would be my opinion with that howard the duck i i thought that was i don't definitely not one that i'm picking up it'll be so funny to see that on the shelf and i don't know that just is a strange one but those are the ones that we knew about now they show us some of the new stuff, and I think some of these are what people had asked for a little bit. So I think these people are going to be more excited about. So the first one they showed us was a zombie Iron Man, because people loved that zombie Captain America. Jordan, what were your thoughts on this zombie Iron Man here? I thought it looked fine. I mean, I don't remember what he looked like in the show exactly. I would have liked to see it more in the vein of that zombie Cap. Mm-hmm. Just that it had a little more like zombie detail, you know. Obviously, yeah. the head looks like a zombie, right? Um, but like, does he even have alternate heads, or is it just the one head? Um, because if he had like a like a head that was like half Iron Man, half zombie, that would have been kind of cool. Um, yeah. I'll see if I can find though. those pictures, but no, it's just I don't know. That one didn't seem as zombie ish to me i mean it had some like blood spatters kind of on the suit but Mm -hmm. i don't know like i would have liked the cap thing where maybe his boots gone and it's just like a skeleton foot and yeah just i don't know or like his arc reactor like you could have the arc reactor and underneath is like his rib cage or you know like Mm -hmm. it just feels like that's an opportunity to be a little more creative but yeah i I mean it doesn't I, it doesn't show everything that he comes with, but it looks like he's got at least fisted hands and open hands, and then he comes with the two like blast effects that we've get mm-hmm. with the Iron Man figures. But yeah, I agree. With I everything. think I know they kind of said that he has like zombie details to him, but really, if you just like replace his head with another Iron Man head, it just looks like a dirty costume. Yeah. Um, like he's got some exposed ribs, but barely. He's got an exposed bone in his forearm but even when they tried to show that on the live stream you couldn't really see it i mean it's a really good zombie head sculpt but like you were saying it just it seems like they really missed out especially when they did such a good job on that zombie captain america like a lot of people had that as their number one figure for the whole year this one falls pretty short of that zombie style so and then the same vein of zombies yep pun intended (laughs) veins Uh, We had a zombie Scarlet Witch, who was a very, I would say, big part of the climax of that episode, which I've heard several people talking about wanting a zombie Scarlet Witch. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think this one made sense. I think it's better than the zombie Iron Man. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see because it has that weird, like, big flowing hair thing going mm-hmm. on. Like, if that's going to make it, like, really top-heavy or something. I'd be curious yeah, I how they that. engineered that. Um, that's what Sam said. And, and she is excited for any really Scarlet Witch figure. Mm-hmm. But I think this one looks better. I mean... When they said, like, oh, we're going to give you some effects with it, it's like, I know they're going to be the same scrollish effects. Same thing with the Iron Man, right? How many Iron Man effects? You know, it's like, (laughs) well, at least give us some new effects. Like, that'd be cool. Yeah. Like Like a blast, like more than just out of the, yeah. Yeah, it works to reuse things sometimes, but yeah, when it happens so often, I mean, it would be nice. Because, like, I know they have different Iron Man effects where they have, like, some with the, like, bigger blast coming out of his hand some with the smaller some with the like really big ones you know switch it up because everybody's got all those blast effects coming out of their ears 
Same with these Scarlet Jericho. Witch effects. They're coming with everything. Yeah. I think the Richard Grant um, Loki comes with these effects also. Yeah, it's just a little swirl thing. Yeah. It's better than that like one you're supposed to clip to their wrist. That's like That's a big true. cluster of balls because that one just you can't get does it not stay. hold up at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree. And I think, I mean, this is definitely a brand new hair sculpt, head sculpt. Again, I think we could have had a little more zombie-ness to her. Like, the head sculpt obviously is zombie, but then her skin is just kind of that, like, greenish blue color. You could probably just rip paint in the it jeans. and pass it as a it's Scarlet just a really Witch mad the Scarlet MCU. Witch. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, that's the thing where it's like, you didn't really make it, like, zombie zombie. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh, her head's a zombie. It's like, yeah. well... Does that justify me buying a whole new figure? There are not going to be so. any mothers in the toy aisle questioning whether they should buy this for their kids or not. Yeah. It is not going to give you nightmares. So, it's, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's their thing as they're trying. They're like, okay, well, zombie cap, mothers didn't like how gruesome that was. we got to back it down just a little bit. But, yeah. but, I don't know. You get some more zombies to add to your shelf. They, again, showed off like their zombie shelf with the Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, Captain America and uh the zombie hunter spider-man and the um head the ant-man head so you know you're you're kind of getting more zombies i still like the diamond select zombies way better i think those look cooler um but you know i don't think hasbro's going to give us a whole severed head exposed brain action figure in the marvel legends so you know just got to kind of make your peace with that then i don't know i was kind of surprised by this one but they gave us a what if red skull um, so he's Talk in about the, random yeah he's in the i mean the agent carter episode or the captain carter he comes with the tesseract kind of like the previous red skull from the zemnu wave came with and i can't remember if there was this came out another time too but i, I don't know he he looks cool and he doesn't look like super animated, yeah. so if like you didn't want to pose him, it looks fine if you wanted a red scroll. It's just like, yeah. Was anyone asking for this? Right. No. I mean, I know some people weren't huge fans of the like the classic older like green jumpsuit red skull that came out in that Zemnu wave. So they wanted kind of this like trench coat MCU version. But then there's also the older like ten years Hasbro uh, red skull that looks like this. So. I don't know. It, it's a decent looking figure. Just, I agree. It's probably not one that tons of people were looking for, but I guess maybe he's a popular enough villain that people will, like just new people, non collectors will be like, Oh, Red Skull. I know that character. Get it and mm -hmm. give it to their kids type of thing. So, which brings us, is it the last figure? Uh, last think? figure before the build a figure. Yep. Is G agent Jimmy Wu from yeah. WandaVision. Yes, he also appeared in Ant Man, though, right? True. So, yeah. I I have seen a lot of people wanting a Jimmy Woo. I think he was kind of a fan favorite character. Yeah. Um, and this was the tease they gave with the card mm -hmm. hand. So. I think you would guess that, right? I think I did. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, it just I don't know. I guess I would. I, mean, I like Jimmy Woo. I think he's funny, but I wasn't like, I need a Jimmy Woo figure. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, unless he factors into Ant-Man 3 in a big way. But I guess, like, people I do always see kind of clamoring for more, like, civilian bodies or mm -hmm. variations. Because he has the suit, but he has a jacket over it, right? Isn't that right. kind of? Yeah. yeah. So, and then he has, like, a fbi badge that looks like it mm -hmm. comes on and off kind of like the uh um accessory that comes with dr strange like mm -hmm. the eye of Akamogoro. yeah so in that respect people might be excited but it, i don't know i didn't really seem like it makes sense in a disney plus wave for sure Mm -hmm. I do agree with some people's critique that it's kind of weird that they mixed like animation with live action with, yeah. you know, it just, and then with the build figure, which we'll get into in a second, but I don't know. It seemed a little 
haphazardly put together, in my opinion. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I feel like this Jimmy Woo almost looks animated, which I think kind of mm-hmm. makes him seem like not quite right because he is more in the like regular MCU, not the animated. But I don't know. It, I I agree. I had heard a lot of people like asking for a Jimmy Woo, so hopefully they're happy. Um, and then yeah, like you said, it's more civilian bodies. I don't. I'm not personally one that's trying to collect a bunch of civilians. Like I mean, I have some like with um, Gwen Stacy and um, J. Jonah Jameson, but I don't. I'd much prefer to have like a more superhero powered up type of character. But I don't know. Jimmy Woo, kind of cool. He comes with that card effect, which is cool. So yeah, not 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 too terribly upset with this one. Not one that I'm going to get for sure, but, you know. I understand why they made it. Yeah, I agree. And this last one I definitely understand, and I'm a little surprised Mm -hmm. that the Build-A-Figure is Conchu from Moon Knight. Kind of this crazy, robed-looking skeleton bird head man. (laughs) Yep. Which they even gave, like, translucent effects to Mm -hmm. show his head levitating, which I thought was cool. Yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting that because I'd seen some people make a custom conchu and I was kind of like, that's probably going to be the only one for a while. So that surprised me. And I'm in a bit of a pickle, Dakota, because I want that build a figure, but I don't want most of the figures. So right, still going to have to figure out what to do there. But I thought that was probably the coolest reveal I saw today. Yeah. I mean, I think... Worst case scenario, most of these figures are going to go on clearance, I would assume. I think I really don't see this Conchu ever surpassing $50 on the like aftermarket. Yeah. Just because right. these figures are going to be so cheap to find and buy. Um, just like how Korg, I don't know what he goes for, but I'm sure it's not much. I would assume he'd probably be a little bit more than that just because there's two Korgs. There's no other Conchu. I think people are really going to want this Conchu. I just don't think he's going to hold a very strong aftermarket value, which is probably good for Hasbro. Like Hasbro doesn't want aftermarket sales to be better than their own sales. But, you know, as collectors, we want to have a value collection. But, yeah, I I did like this Conchu a ton. He comes with that, like, staff with the moon on it. I think this Conchu actually makes me want to go get the Moon Knight and Mr. Knight that are going to be coming out. I don't know. It seems like it's all coming out. I think they're in February, maybe. Um, so, very cool build a figure. Kind of the saving grace for me of this wave. If I was going to have to pick other figures out of this. I mean, I do think that that He Who Remains looks really cool. I like the way they did the robe. Um, so it's, like, actually posable. It's not, like, a big thing completely covering his arms up. Um, comes with the Apple accessory, which is kind of funny. Um the Richard Grant looks cool, but not one that I need. So, yeah, definitely just going to be looking for the uh, Build-A-Figure. Like I said, these go on sale uh, tomorrow or today, depending on when you're listening. To, well, you're definitely not listening to it when we're recording this. But um, So today at 1 o'clock Eastern time. Unless you've hacked into our computers. <laughs> you're such a big fan, you can't wait for them to come out. And that's <laughs> why I'm not giving live. out my address. Um, but, yeah, so today at 1 o'clock Eastern um, these will all go on pre-order. Um, not sure when they're actually going to hit store shelves. I would doubt it's going to be before the year is over. Um, but I, I guess I'm not for sure on that because I was just talking to Jordan about this today too, that we've had three waves hit shelves this year, I think. And last year we had like nine. So unless Hasbro's really going to start pumping them out, I don't think we're ever going to get close to last year's um legends but we've got a ton on pre-order for next year mm-hmm. but and that, that kind of concludes our reveals yeah and then the only other thing is they had their uh classic tease at the end of the live stream looked to me like a alien in the same jar as the ant-man head like an alien head floating in the jar Jordan, did you have any predictions? I thought it was one of the Mole Man's Moloids oh. head. 
is what it looked like to me. Okay. So my brain goes right to a new mole man. Okay. Which maybe he's going to fit the Walgreens uh, villain wave, right? Because we mm-hmm. had Jigsaw, Baron Zemo, and then maybe Mole Man. That is a cool guess. That's a kind of a cooler guess than what I had seen in the groups. Somebody had posted um, the Future Foundations, where it's kind of like the Power Pack Future Foundation. Oh, yeah, that's right. With that, like, they're like kind of all flying with, like, the power pack kids and dragon man and then there's like this alien head that's also flying along with them so go look up that uh dragon man (laughs) never mind i think you're right but i wish you weren't yeah i after that person posted that picture i was like that is exactly what that head is but also i don't know what like are we going to get a power pack future foundations because i would think people would be wanting more of a power pack group and I, i don't know that head i don't know if who that character is so maybe he does show up in the power pack stuff, but with, like I said, in that future foundations crew is a dragon man. And I know people would lose their minds over a new dragon man. So maybe that's on the horizon. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get too excited about it, but definitely a possibility. I don't know who else that head would come with. If that is who that figure is, but I guess time will tell, give it a few months and, yeah so in case you didn't get enough of jordan and i and our disproving opinions of what hasbro is putting out stay tuned for an upcoming episode where we'll kind of go over some of our grievances and gripes with what hasbro is doing currently and our thoughts on maybe how they could improve or just kind of what's irking us at the moment again we're still going to be pre-ordering these marvel legends we don't hate them that much where we're going to completely jump ship, but we just want to air out our opinions. So if you're enjoying what you're hearing, make sure you're subscribed, you're following, you're liking all the podcasts, make sure to share it with your friends, fellow collectors. If somebody is uh, curious about your collecting habits and they don't know Marvel legends very well, we plan on doing a like intro to Marvel legends so that all of your friends and family can understand you a little bit better. Um, But until next time, stay strong. Stay strong. I want to say it. Stay strong.